Well, if he did it, he did it for us. So that means he was our substitute. He doesn't want us to suffer. Jesus, the Lamb of God, took it all on himself 2,000 years ago. But if we don't know about it, we will not be able to share in the victory that he's given to us and get gotten for us. It's now time for Mark Hankins, Faith for Every Nation. Mark and Trina train and equip leaders in every nation through church services, leadership conferences, mission trips, and media. Get ready for a direct and joyful message about how to grow in your faith and learn more about who you are in Christ. Now, let's join Mark and Trina. Hello, welcome to the program today. I have good news for you. It's God's will for you to be well. It's God's will for you to prosper. It's God's will for you to be in health and feel good, have a great life. He came to give you life and that more abundantly. So I have wonderful time today for you uh, in the Word. Get your Bible out and um, open it up to Psalm 1720. You know, I have a great testimony and testimony should be told. So I'm telling you mine. You know, I was uh, young, I, I mentioned this before, and had asthma. Oh, seemed like every time I got around animals or ran or went to sleep, <laughs> anything could trigger asthma. And so I'm just hopeless and I was frustrated. But thank God for somebody that came to our house years ago when I was like about 16, and they gave us a box of uh, tapes back then. That was in the 70s. Anybody remember those? And uh, books from Brother Hagen. And I began to learn that we as believers have authority, and it comes from Jesus. And that His will is for us to be well and to prosper and to be in health. Wow, that was mind blowing because, you know, I loved Jesus all my life, but um, I didn't know how to be bold to take what he had already purchased for me on the cross. You know, Jesus was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement needful for our peace was upon him and with his stripes, we are healed. Isaiah says that, Isaiah 53, four and five. What wonderful words of life. Well, if he did it, he did it for us. So that means he was our substitute. He doesn't want us to suffer. Jesus, the Lamb of God, took it all on himself 2,000 years ago. But if we don't know about it, we will not be able to share in the victory that he's given to us and get gotten for us. And I was, I didn't know about it. So the scripture says people are perishing for lack of knowledge. So maybe today you don't know about this, or maybe you've learned a little bit, but there's more. I've learned that whenever God's talking to me through somebody else, or I hear a scripture, I want to take heed. I want to listen to it. I want to hear it like I've never heard it before. So Hear this word like you've never heard it before. Get ready. God has a fresh word for you and a fresh work in your life and work through your life. Psalms 107 and verse 20 it expresses the will of God to you. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. He sent his word to heal them and preserve their life. I'm reading out of my healing book today and uh, it's just so helpful to me. I, I just keep it close to me and I feed on it. I was talking to a woman the other day. She was healed of cancer. And she said, thank you for writing this book because I lived in this book. I wrote my notes in this book um, and I just kept it with me. It's all worn out. She showed it to me. So this word that God has sent to you is valuable, it's important, and comes right off the page into your eyes and your heart, your mouth, changes your body. 
He sends his word and heals you and rescues you from the pit and destruction. Hallelujah. We got a rescuing Jesus. We got a God who wants to pick us out of the pit. The next verse says, Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and his wonderful works to the children of men. And so that's what I'm going to do today. Just praise him. He's working in me. He's working in you. He's working in your family. You know, he sent his word. One of the words he sent to me was Proverbs, the fourth chapter, verse 20 through 22. And it says this, My son, attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my saying. Let them not depart from before your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. For they are life to those that find them and health to all your flesh. First of all, this is my son, attend to my words. Now, how many parents you've looked at your kids and you say, pay attention to me. And that's exactly how this verse is, is speaking. It's God talking to us and he's saying, pay attention to my words. Read my lips. And uh, his word, the Bible is his will. It's coming right out of his mouth, but it was written. It was spoken so it could be written, Mark says. And then it was written so it could be spoken. And that's what you find here in this verse. He says, in, uh, pay attention to my word. And I like that, um, that pay attention because it reminds me of Acts 14 and 9 when the, there was a crippled man, a paralyzed man. Paul was preaching the gospel and he saw that man, his gaze was on him. He was paying attention. And when he heard the words that Mark was, uh, that Mark, <laughs> Paul was preaching, <laughs> he had faith to be healed, right? And that word, he had faith to be healed. When he uh, was looking at Paul, Paul saw that look. You know, there's a look of faith. You're not just glancing. You're not just hoping. You're not just saying, oh, yeah, there. No, you have a fixed, that means a fixed gaze. You're gazing intently. You're beholding earnestly. You fasten your eyes. You set your eyes. And so there's something about looking at the word of God and keeping on looking at it. Just like that man, he had faith to be healed. Attend to the word. It gives you faith to be healed. Paul shouted at that man and he said, stand up on your feet. You're healed. And that man instantly stood up on his feet. You know, when you hear the word of God, it demands action. So today, while I'm speaking, I believe that you're going to act on the word. Whatever word comes to you, act on it. And you'll see the power of God released in your body. Amen. He said, pay attention to my word. Incline your ear to my saying, let them not depart from your eyes, keep them in the midst of your heart. So you see your ears, your eyes, your mouth, and your heart. All of these are gates into your heart, your heart, your spirit. You are a spirit made in the image of God. That's how God communicates to you. His words are spirit and they are life. When you see them, they come right into you and they give you life. Amen. It's God coming into you. Praise God. And this verse says, um, they are life. These words are life to those that find them. And that word find stood out to me. And so I looked it up and it means this, to light upon, to take hold on. Have you ever looked for something that you couldn't find? Like maybe your keys, your cell phone, whatever. But when you found it, you go, aha, there it is. That's what the word of God, when you look in the word of God, that word's going to shout out to you and you're going to go, oh, aha, that's the key. That's what I need. Maybe uh, you might be in bitterness. Maybe you might be in unforgiveness. Whatever it is, the word is sent and it, light, light upon it. Take a hold on it to get a grip on it. And then the, another phrase that stands out is this. Keep these words in the center of your heart. And it, the meaning of that is like the bullseye, the, the crosshairs. If you had a scope, you know, it's right in the middle, in the center. It's within. Keep them inside because these words are life. That word life is chai in the 
Hebrew, kai, I think that's how you say it. And it means it's alive, strong, appetite, quick, springing. I love those words because they give me a picture and your imagination begins to see yourself doing these things, being alive, springing. And there's another Hebrew word is kaya, and it means to revive, keep alive, nourish up, preserve, quicken, recover, repair, restore to life, revive, save, surely make you whole. Amen. So the word of God is life. It will quicken you. It will make you whole. Surely it will. Amen. It is life to all your flesh and health. Life and health to all your flesh. That word health is the Hebrew word marpe. And it means a medicine, a cure, a deliverance, a remedy. It will make you completely sound and whole. God has sent his word, the effect of taking his word like medicine, taking it, receiving it in your mouth, putting it in your eyes, your ears. Don't just let your preacher say it. You say it. Take it home. Get your own Bible out. Say it out loud. How do you hear the word? Well, the best way to hear the word is to hear your own voice say the word. Because when you hear your own voice, something happens in your thinking, something happens in your heart, you begin to believe. Woo, yes. Come on, when you believe the word, God, who, nothing is impossible to those who believe. Amen? And so we're, we're believers. We're moving from doubt to believing. You shall not doubt in your heart, but shall believe that those things which you say shall come to pass. You will have whatsoever you say. He that believes and does not doubt, Mark eleven twenty four. that is a powerful verse. That verse is the verse that God sent to uh, Kenneth E. Hagan as a little young teenage boy. He was 15 maybe 16, by the time he got this word, he couldn't read very long. He would try to read the Bible, but he was so weak. He was paralyzed in his bed for 16 months. And he said, I got to read the Bible, but I got to start in the New Testament. <laughs> I might die before I get to the end. So he started in Matthew, then he got to Mark and got to Mark eleven twenty four. And that scripture began to stand out to him. Let me tell you something. God sends his word. It might just be one scripture, but you get that scripture. You grab that scripture. That's what Brother Higgin did. As a young boy, teenage boy, he meditated on that word. He'd think about it. He was in the bed day and night. So what else was he to do? He didn't have TV, games, anything like that. He would just think about that scripture. And God helped him to understand the Holy Spirit is the one who gives us revelation. And God will speak his word and give you light about what he is speaking to you. And um, so he said, um, I need to believe. I'm not believing. The Holy Spirit said, you're not believing. But if you'll believe, you will receive. And he said, you're believing as far as you know. So God wanted him to understand more. He said, you can't pray and get faith, but his word brings faith. So as he would meditate on that word, faith to be healed came into his heart and his soul and his imagination. And then the Holy Spirit said, well, people should not be in bed. Oh, so listen, God sends his word to you, but stick with it. And the Holy Spirit will work with it by degrees. And you will understand more. Your faith, your thinking will change. And you'll begin to see yourself well. And so um, Brother Hagin said he believed that word. But he was also looking at his body to see if he was feeling different. Don't do that. The Lord said, don't do that. He said, don't just look at the word and then look at your body. Only look at the word. As you look at the word, your believer is going to work. 
and then your receiver will work. And so he, Brother Hagen would feel his heart to see if it was work, if it was any different. It wasn't. He was still weak. But then when he heard the word again, the Holy Spirit spoke to him, he could get light. The entrance of his word gives light, gives understanding to the simple. And so Brother Hagen said, I see it. I see it. The Holy Spirit was working in him and he had joy. You know, when you get a hold of the word of God, you begin to rejoice. Ah, I see it. I see it. That's what I did when I was sick with asthma. I said, oh, I don't know if I'll ever get well until the Holy Spirit said, meditate on, on this scripture. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. I did. And then when I had the brain tumor, the Holy Spirit spoke the word. Romans 8, 11. He sent his word and it healed you. He said the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, the one that spoke that word, he will quicken your mortal body. And I received that word and I began to rejoice. Hallelujah. And I was healed of an inoperable brain tumor. Brother Hagen meditated on the word. He knew that God said, I'm not a liar. If I said you could have what you say, you can have what you say. If I said you, when you believe you will receive, you will receive. And so Brother Hagen, finally that day, he said, okay, I'm going to do this. His, his body was paralyzed, his legs, he couldn't move them. He pulled himself up into a sitting position, pulled his legs off the bed. They were just like dead pieces of wood and they fell to the floor. But that was an act of faith. Whenever you act on the word, God will perform it. And he put his legs down, feet on the floor, and he said it felt like a million pinpricks came into his legs as his legs began to receive life. He said it hurt, but it was, he was so happy at the same time. That day he held on to the bedpost, pulled himself up. Hallelujah. He was receiving and stood up for the first time in months. He did it again the next day and walked around the room holding on to furniture. That night he said, some, I want some shoes in my, in my room. I want you to bring me some shoes. And they looked at him like, you're out of your mind. People might say you're out of your mind when you believe in God. That's okay. That's okay. Just let them think what they think. You believe God, believe his word. His ways are higher. His thoughts are higher than any other thoughts, any other report. Let's believe the true report. Amen. And brother Hagen on the third day, got up out of his bed again, put his shoes on, his clothes on, walked downstairs and ate breakfast. Wow. And he never got back in that bed. I'm telling you what, if it happened for him, it can happen for you. It can happen for anyone who will step out on the word of God. Believe, not only believe, receive, act upon the word of God. And you're going to receive the power of God because God watches his word to perform it. There shall be a performance of his word that he sends to you. Amen. Who is the performer? The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit works with the word. He brings it to life. He causes it to burn in your heart. He helps you with your thoughts, your mind. He helps you to cast down imaginations of death and doom and, you know, hopelessness. He sends his word to give you life and hope. Today, God's working in you. What he did for me, he'll do for you. What he did for Brother Hagen back then and that so long ago is not just an old story but it's a living story. Come on. God wants to do that just for you. Take his word like medicine. Receive his word. Let it come into your heart. Let it come into your mind. Let it come into your mouth. Believe and receive it. Take it like medicine. You know, back in the day when Jesus was on the earth, they came to him from everywhere around. Thousands came to him and their purpose was to hear and to be healed of their disease. Luke 5, 15, John, uh, Luke 6, 17, it says the same thing. They came to be here and to be healed of their diseases. So they wanted to hear his voice 
And that word to be healed was therapeo. That means they came again and again, just like taking therapy. Take that word again and again because it brings faith to you and it's got healing properties in it. It's like medicine to you and it will bring health and life to you. They came to be to hear and to be healed of their diseases. That word of is just a small word, but it's a big word. That word means this. It denotes a separation from their disease, a departure of that disease, a cessation or a completion of that disease. Wow, when they heard that word, when you hear God's word today, something is happening. You're being healed of that disease. It's stopping, it's departing, it's going away. You're being separated from that identifying disease. You're no longer the paralytic. You're no longer the asthmatic. You're no longer the cancer victim. No, you are the healed of the Lord. You are so greatly beloved. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. It just makes you want to praise God. David said, bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Forget not his benefits. He forgives all our iniquities and he heals all our diseases. Today, God is healing you right now. I just want you just to begin to bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Lift your hands up. Just begin to praise God. Say, thank you, Lord. You're my healer. You've sent your word to me. You were wounded for my transgressions. And with your stripes, I am healed. So I'm going to act on the word. I'm going to do something I couldn't do before. I'm going to get up, get out of bed. I'm going to lift my voice. I'm going to praise. Your act of faith will cause the power of God to fall and explode. Your praise, the power of God will fall and explode where you are. And things will be different for you. I believe. And my faith is joined up to your faith. And I say to you, be healed. Be strong. This is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it. God bless you. I'll be coming back. I have another word for you. You are watching Mark Hankins Ministries, Faith for Every Nation. Are you struggling to overcome obstacles that hinder you from receiving your healing? Are you tired from going from doctor to doctor, taking all kinds of medicine and not getting results? We have good news for you. God's Healing Word book by Pastor Trina Hankins is a practical guide to receiving divine healing. This book is a perfect prescription for anyone struggling with sickness, disease, even mental or emotional challenges. The practical instruction in this book is not only the product of diligent study, but is also the proven divine medicine that saved Pastor Trina's life when she had an inoperable brain tumor. You will also receive a bonus two CD set by Pastor Trina, Biblical Meditation, God's Medication. Learn how to act on God's word, use your authority, receive your healing and maintain your healing today. Your gift of any amount will help Pastor Mark and Trina Hankins train pastors around the world. Call right now, 318-767-2001 or visit markhankins.org. Order today and start living in God's best, divine health. I'm so glad Jesus came to the earth. I'm so glad he was the will of God manifest in the flesh. Wow, what a healing Jesus we have. What a loving Jesus we have. He's moved with compassion to heal. Today, Jesus is moved with compassion to heal you. You know, his compassions fail not. They are new every morning and it comes right out of the heart of God. It's like a river of life. And today God's flowing to you through the word, through his power. Nothing is impossible. I want to give you hope and I want to join my faith together with you. And I want to encourage you to get this book. You know, it's my book, but really it's just a collection of testimonies, of instruction on how to meditate in the Word of God. Sometimes meditation is a forgotten art, you know. Well, how do you do that? Well, I go into detail on how to do that. Take the Word uh, every day. Keep it in your eyes, keep it in your hearts. Clear your mind from unforgiveness, things that will block you from keeping the power of God. 
that's what we have at the first of this book. And the second half of this book is um, scriptures. Identified scriptures on God's will to heal you, God's uh, word that will heal you, that Christ has redeemed you from the curse, uh, how to act on the word of God. And this will give you, uh, you know, fuel for your faith, give you authority over the enemy. Just clear things out. Just say, devil, you've had it. You're out of here. You know, this book has been such a blessing. I've gotten so many testimonies, you know, and we send it. People can't keep it because they're giving it to their friends. You know, they said, man, this is going here and this is everywhere. The word is sent to you. And I try to put it in a, in an easy to read and receive format. In the back, there's a CD that Mark is reading on all the healing scriptures. And as you hear the word constantly, day and night, It'll completely transform your life. I speak health, life, and the will of God to you. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. We connected uh, with Pastors Mark and Trina Hankins a few years ago, and it was through our administrator at the time. She went to a meeting in Albuquerque, and she came back uh, with Mark Hankins material, Mark and Trina Hankins material, and uh, we feasted on those uh, teachings and recordings and books and uh, we were trusting God at that time month by month to keep the doors of the church open. And so when our administrator went to their meeting, it was a time where my wife and I, we were just trusting God to keep the doors open. It was a very challenging time for our church at that time. Uh, pastors Mark and Trina uh, they did not know us. Uh, we did hear about them, but they did not know, know us. But the Lord put in pastors, Mark and Trina, to send material through our administrator to us for free. And it was a significant amount of material. Well, we read, we heard, and when they came the very first time to our church, after that meeting, a breakthrough occurred. And when that breakthrough occurred, now, you know, ever since we partner, uh, we've been celebrating one breakthrough after another breakthrough after another breakthrough. And that connection, they pray for us, we lift them up in prayer, we sow, and as a result, there's an exchange, they give us material. And of course, the Bible College has been a tremendous blessing, but it has all happened because of partnership. Uh, we are partnering with a ministry that operates in the supernatural. And to be connected to a ministry that operates to the supernatural, that causes our church and ministry to operate in the supernatural as well. Thank you for watching Mark Hankins Ministries, Faith for Every Nation. For more information on how to build your faith, visit markhankins.org. You can access many free word resources to help you find who you are in Christ. Thank you for watching.